Hi, I'm Alex Aaron, a technician at Seek Alarm, and today we'll be reviewing the wiring and programming for the annual timer. Welcome to our instructional video, and we're glad you're here. We encourage you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and to click the bell to receive notifications of new Seek Alarm user and installer videos. In this video, we will go over the following overview, wiring, programming. The product we will cover in this video is the annual timer. The features of the timer include two Form C relays. Each relay can be programmed for 50 events for a total of 100 individual programmable events, 10 programmable holidays, and password protection. The product has the following. An LED power indicator, an LCD display, a set button, an enter button, an up button, and a down button. Inside there is a terminal block for wiring with the following terminals. Positive power input, negative power input, and then relay one has common, normally open, and normally closed. Let's look at the wiring diagram for a door strike setup. Fail secure. Connect the positive terminal and the common of output one to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal to the negative of the power supply. Connect the negative side of the strike back to the negative of the power supply. Connect the normally open of output 1 to the positive side of the strike. We will toggle the relay to test the connections. Beginning wiring maglock hookup. Let's look at the wiring diagram for a maglock setup fail safe. Connect the positive terminal and the common of output one to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal to the negative of the power supply. Connect the negative side of the maglock back to the negative of the power supply. Connect the normally closed terminal of output 1 to the positive side of the maglock. We will toggle the relay to test the connections. Let's look at the wiring diagram for a gate operator setup. Contact closure. Connect the positive terminal to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal to the negative of the power supply. Connect the common of output 1 to the ground of the gate motor. Connect the normally open of output 1 to the open of the gate motor.
We will toggle the relay to test the connections. Programming notes. A convenient feature of the annual timer is the ability to program it before installation. The EEPROM memory stores and protects programming instructions. Programming the timer is easier and faster if you know exactly how you want to use the annual timer as well as the functions it will perform. Following the programming instructions in order will make your installation easier. Determine which relays will operate the devices that are being controlled. Determine if two relays will be used in tandem. Determine if daylight savings time or standard time will be used. Using a piece of paper, write down the following. The days to be block coded. For example, Monday through Friday or Monday through Sunday. All the events you want to program as well as their durations for up to 50 per relay. Any holidays you wish to program to override the programmed events, up to 10. Programming buttons. First, let's review the basic programming conventions used. When in a particular selection area, press the up or down buttons to choose an entry. Press the enter button to confirm your selection and move to the next selection. Press set to return to the previous selection. Setting the time and date. To set the time and date, press the set button on the timer until enter to set time appears on the screen. Press the up and down buttons to choose the correct month, day, and year, and then the day of the week, hour, and minute. Press the enter button to confirm this selection and go to the next selection, or press the set button to go back to the previous selection. Time is shown using a 24 hour format. For example, 5.30 a.m. is shown as 5 colon 30, while 5.30 p.m. is shown as 17 colon 30. To set block events, press the set button on the timer until enter to set BK appears on the screen. Using the function buttons, press up and down to enter the first of consecutive days you want an event to repeat on, then press enter to move to the next selection. Use the up and down to set the last of the consecutive days you want an event to repeat on. Press the enter button to confirm the programming selection. Using the function buttons, press up and down to switch between daylight savings time, DS, or standard time, ST format. Programming events. To set events, press the set button on the timer until enter to set event appears on the screen. Press the enter button to confirm the programming selection. Press the up or down buttons to enter the event number, the relay number, how the relay will operate, and the day and time the event is scheduled and the enter button after each selection. Programming event one, the open event. So for the open event, the event number is 01, the relay number is R1, Relay operation is on. Day is BK or block. And the time is 7 a.m. Programming event two, the close event, Event number is 02, relay number is R1, relay operation is off, day is BK or block, and the time is 1800 or 6 p.m. Relay sync. Events do not backfill, so you will need to toggle the relay on or off to sync it up. The relay options are not set through the same programming screen as the options described earlier. Press the up or down button while the main screen is on to show the relay status screen. Press and hold the down button for three seconds to toggle relay two.
Press and hold the up button for three seconds to toggle relay one. This has been a wiring and programming tutorial for the Enforcer Annual Timer from Sequel Arm. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.